Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys with your FE preparation. In today's video, we're going to do a problem on controls, specifically under part C, dynamic system response. So we are giving the transfer function of a thermal control system and we want to determine the damping characteristic of the system. So a few things guys to note here is that we have a transfer function that is multiplied by the step input which is 1 over s and to determine if the system is under damped, critically damped or over damped we need to determine the damping ratio and to determine the damping ratio what we're going to do is take this transfer function and we're going to compare it to the second order equation that you guys have on the reference handbook okay so with that why don't you guys give this problem a try so go ahead and pause this video attempt it solve it on your own and then you can come back and check your solution By the way guys my team is currently working on creating a pdf that's going to have all the fe problems that we have shared here in our channel and it's going to have the solution plus the link to the youtube video in case you guys want to check the full solution so if you are interested in that pdf go ahead and sign up here and we'll send it to you guys once it's ready okay now as i mentioned earlier so to solve for this problem the first thing we need to do is determine the damping ratio and to determine the damping ratio we're going to go to the reference manual and take a look at this section here okay so this is the we have here first order control system and then second order control system and we're going to specifically take a look at this equation here okay and because this is the equation that has zeta that's the damping ratio as you guys can see here and we're going to take this equation and then we're going to compare it to the equation that we have and then we're going to try to determine zeta okay once we determine the damping ratio then we'll be able to determine the type of system we have because if you guys can see here it says if the damping ratio is less than one that means we have under damped if it's equal to one we have critically damped and if it's greater than one that means we have over damped okay so let's go ahead and write this equation down now note guys here that we have a second degree equation and then we have here a third degree equation so what we need to do is we need to make this equation here into a second degree equation so that way we can compare the terms and then from there we can determine the damping ratio okay now the other thing too as i mentioned earlier so this here this equation this is the transfer function multiplied by the step input which is one over s so which means we can factor out one over s okay and then we can compare that transfer function equation to this here okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'm gonna do here one over s okay so remember guys this is going to be the step input we're gonna multiply it by four and we're gonna divide it by so s squared because here we're gonna factor out s okay and if we do that we're gonna get s squared plus 8s and then plus 16 okay this is the step input this is the transfer function now what we're going to do is we're going to compare this here to this equation okay so let's go ahead and do that so we want to determine zeta okay which means this term here so we're going to do 2 zeta and times omega and then this here is going to be equal to 8 okay this term here because these terms are the same okay now before we can solve for the damping ratio first we need to find omega right and to find omega what we're going to do is take omega squared and then equal it to 16 and then from there we can determine omega so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to have omega squared is equal to 16 and so that means omega is going to be equal to the square root of 16 which is 4 right now we can go back to this equation here and then solve for the damping ratio so we're going to do the damping ratio is going to be equal to 8 and then we're going to divide it by 2 times omega, which we said is 4, right? And so now if you guys plug this in your calculator, or you can just do the math, 8 over 8, that's just going to give you guys 1, right? Now, the damping ratio is equal to 1, which means the system is going to be critically damped. So and the answer is going to be B. So this is how we solve these type of problems. Now on the FP exam, you might be asked to find the damping ratio or the natural frequency. And again, you will 
do the same exact steps as we did here okay guys so these are just a few things to keep in mind now if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like this problem please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps the channel out immensely and also if you are looking for more fe problems make sure to check out our courses and i'm gonna talk more about our courses next i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are looking for more fe problems make sure to check out our courses where we cover a lot of concepts and also we solve a lot of problems together so i walk you guys through every step on a video format just like we do here on our youtube channel so make sure that you guys check it out our courses are also lifetime access and we have helped many students pass the fe exam you can also check out this playlist here that has a lot of fe problems that, that could help you with your fe preparation now thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine